What's going down folks? It's your boy C23 back on the sticks once again with another Madden 17 franchise video for you guys. And today's matchup against the Saints is a game that I've had circled on my calendar for about the last five games. And if you guys can remember back to when we played the Saints earlier in the season, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But for those of you who might have missed the video, there's going to be a link somewhere on the screen. Go ahead and check that video out first. And then you can come back and watch this one. Then you'll understand why I'm so hyped for this matchup. Now getting into the gameplay, the Saints get the ball first. Garoppolo comes out in the pistol. Hand it off to Ingram and he goes nowhere. The tackle was made by Damian Dixon on the play. Bringing up second and nine now. Garoppolo throwing downfield, connects to Brandon Cooks. He ends up picking up a first down, moving him all the way up to the 47 yard line. The next play, Ingram gets the handoff and he's met in the backfield by Keanu Neal. That's going to drop him back to a second and 14. Ingram with another carry and that time he only picked up three. So on third and 11 here, Garoppolo with time in the pocket threads the needle to Kobe Fleener and Ryan Shazier made the tackle on the play but Fleener picks up the first down so on first and 10 now Garoppolo throwing near the sideline complete to Marquise Lee and he's going to gain about four on the play so on second down now Ingram taking it up the middle nice spin move there and he's going to get enough yardage for a Saints first down so on the next play Garoppolo tries to hit Fleener but the pass is broken up by Keanu Neal that was a nice play in coverage so on second and 10 Garoppolo and the gun drops back goes short to Ingram across the middle and he picks up another first down before Shazier can make the tackle so the next play, they try to go back to the ground game, and the Falcons' run defense is not having it. They actually lose two yards on the play. So after the Keanu Neal tackle for a loss, it brings up second and 12. I try to send a nickel on the blitz, but Garoppolo gets rid of it to Fleener, and he picks up seven on the play. So on third and five, Garoppolo throwing downfield and completes the pass to Marquise Lee, but Sherrod Westmoreland gets injured on the play. That is not good. So with Westmoreland out for the remainder of the game, Garoppolo capitalizes right away and throws a touchdown to Mike. Michael Thomas in the middle of the end zone. So the Falcons offense takes the field after the New Orleans score, handing the ball off to Dre Eubanks, and he bullies ahead for a gain of four on the play. On second and six now, Anderson under center, firing downfield and it's incomplete. That pass should have been caught by KB. Those types of catches are usually automatic for him and he cannot believe it, shaking his head in disappointment. But the drop brings up a third and six, Anderson firing over to the right side, complete to Gordon this time, and he's able to pick up a first down on the play. So Anderson comes out in the four wide set dumps it short complete to KB in the middle of the field and it looks like he gets about seven or eight on the play then on second down Eubanks gets the carry puts Vaccaro in the spin cycle and almost takes that one to the house if he would have broken that last tackle he would have been gone so the run by Eubanks sets up a first down at the 40 yard line Anderson comes out goes play action throws downfield and completes it to KB Kevin Body might have just bailed Anderson out with that one because that was a dangerous pass so after the run play to Davis goes pretty much nowhere, we're looking at 2nd and 11, Anderson taking the snap, throwing downfield, complete to Julio Jones, and that catch is going to set us up with a 1st and goal from the 8 yard line. So looking to punch it in for 7, Anderson comes out in the gun, trying to set up the screen play to Davis, dumps it off to him, and he's going to run in untouched for the score. So we did a great job at marching it 75 yards downfield and responding to the New Orleans touchdown. Getting back on defense after the run play goes for a loss of one. Brings up second and 11. Garoppolo's under pressure and gets sacked. Keon Fontenot getting to Garoppolo, bringing him down for his first sack of the game. And what's crazy about this play is that Fontenot usually plays in the five technique in base, but in the sub package, he slides over and plays in the three technique. So I'm wondering, maybe that's going to give us some versatility as we move closer to the draft. What do you guys think? I don't think it's that bad of an idea as we just forced the Saints to go three and out. Now on our next drive, we try to set up a quick screen at KB, but the Saints are all over that and we actually lose two yards on the play. So Anderson comes out in the gun looking at a second and 12 situation, throws short, complete to Hooper, and that's going to set us up with a third and short from the 46. Anderson takes the snap, tosses it to Eubanks, and he breaks into the open field. There's nothing but green grass in front of him. He's got one defender left to beat and steps out of bounds at the two-yard line. What a run by Dre Eubanks. He just continues to find ways to get it done out here. So after the nice run by Eubanks, Davis takes the handoff and vultures a touchdown. I probably should have gone to Eubanks, but we still get the score and go up 14-7. to 
On our next possession, after forcing the Saints to go three and out, Eubanks gets another carry up the middle and picks up about 12 on the play. Next play, first and 10. Anderson fires complete to Austin Hooper near the sideline, and that's going to set up a second and five. The carry goes to Eubanks, and he goes nowhere on the run right there. So now we've got a third and eight situation to deal with. Anderson then motions Davis out of the backfield, makes a quick adjustment at the line of scrimmage, takes a snap with an empty backfield. The pressure's coming. He gets rid of it to Davis, and Davis makes the the grab there for a first down. That was a nice read by Anderson seeing Davis matched up against a linebacker. So now we got a first and 10 from the 42. Anderson pump fakes, looks downfield, takes a deep shot, and it's picked off by Delvin Bro in the end zone. And I won't even lie to you guys, when I threw that pass, I really thought that Kenny Vaccaro was a referee because I never would have thrown that pass. So now the defense has got to make up for the mistake on offense on first and 10. Ingram gets the handoff trying to go up the gut and somehow emerges from the mass of bodies. And I'm just not going to do commentary anymore on this play. I'm just going to sit back and watch him run into the end zone with the rest of you guys. I really can't put into words what just happened on that play, you guys. That was just a crazy play. And to make matters worse, on my next drive on first and 10, Anderson gets hit, coughs it up, and the ball lands right in the hands of the D tackle. Fortunately enough, though, our defense was able to keep him out of the end zone and force him to settle for a field goal try, and of course they knocked that through, but it could have been a lot worse. So we take over with 23 seconds to go in the half. Anderson comes out, goes play action, throws downfield, and Kevin Body goes up and makes the grab. Now, first of all, I don't know how Zach Anderson was able to get this pass off because Lunar Davis forgets to pick up the blitz and Zach Anderson got drilled. But look at the catch by KB, though. Going up with the right hand and ripping it away from the defensive back, that was just another signature Kevin Body play right there. So after the completion goes to Austin Hooper there, we're looking at a first and 10. Anderson fires downfield to Julio Jones, but there's a flag on the play. And that's as obvious as it gets. Julio's being held the entire way. So they move it up five yards to the 16. Anderson goes to the end zone and Julio cannot come up with the catch. That would have been a sensational play right there. But with time winding down in the half, we just settle for three and we'll take a 17 to 17 tie in the halftime. So coming out in our first drive of the second half, Eubanks gets the carry out of the I formation and goes nowhere on the play. That's going to bring up a second and 10 situation, going to the screen game, dumping it off to Davis, and he's going to take it all the way up to the 39-yard line before being pushed out of bounds. So on the next play on first down, Anderson throws complete to KB, who only gets about two or three on the play. So Anderson comes out in the gun on the next play, three wide set, fires complete downfield to Josh Gordon. He turns on the Jets and he is gone. On. Zach Anderson hooks up with Josh Gordon for a 60-yard touchdown pass on the play. And if you guys are wondering how Josh Gordon got so wide open, look at Kevin Body kind of getting away with an illegal rub right there. But I'll take it because it gave Josh Gordon just the space he needed to make the catch, turn up field, and take it to the house for six. So then we line up for the PAT and it's blocked. As if Madden already hasn't done enough to me in this game. They get me with the block point after try. And that's going to make things pretty interesting going down the stretch because instead of being up seven, it's only a six point game. So a couple of field goals gets the Saints right back in it. Now on second and two, Garoppolo takes the snap in the gun. Garoppolo under pressure, fires near the sideline and the receiver cannot bring it in. That was close to being a completion right there. So on third and short here, Garoppolo again comes out with an empty backfield, dumps it short to Kobe Fleener. And that's going to be more than enough for a Saints first down. A couple plays later on the same drive on third and long here, Garoppolo goes with the play action fake, has time waiting for somebody to get open downfield, targets my user control linebacker and makes the catch anyway. Now you guys, I promise you, I'm pressing the Y button the entire time the ball's on this descent and nothing happens. Does that ever happen to any of you guys? Because I'm telling you, it happens to me at least twice a game. But anyways, after Fontenot makes a tackle on Ingram for a loss, the Saints are now looking at second and long from the 19. Garoppolo handing the ball off to Ingram again, and this time Keanu Neal was right there to meet him. Looking at a third and 14, Garoppolo drops back with time in the pocket, dumps it off short to Ingram, and Damian Dixon comes up and makes the tackle just an inch shy of the first down marker. So that was another solid job by the defense in holding the Saints to three, but this is where that block PAT really hurts us because the Saints just need a field goal to tie. So after we go three and out on our next possession, Matt Bosher comes out to punt it away and the kick is blocked. The Saints then swarm to the ball, scoop it up, and Church is going to run in the block punt for a touchdown. 
So with that score, the Saints now have a 27-23 lead. Moving into the fourth quarter, our offense takes the field, trying to dump it off to Davis in the flat. He makes the grab, but only gains a couple on the play. So that's going to bring up a second and eight now. Anderson gets it to Davis, setting up the screen to the opposite side, and he's going to cross in the Saints territory before being tackled by Delvin Bro. Now on first and 10, Anderson lines up in the I formation, hands the ball off to Eubanks, and he gets tackled as soon as he takes the handoff. He's only going to get one yard on the play. Anderson comes out on second down, looking to throw, completes it to Josh Gordon right in front of the linebacker, and that's going to be enough yardage to pick up a first. On the next play, Anderson comes out under center, takes the snap, hands the ball off to Dre Eubanks off the right side. He breaks into the open field, and he is gone. Dre Eubanks with his 10th rushing touchdown this season. This one goes for 32 yards to the house. So now that we've recaptured the lead, it's all on our defense. We have to come out and get stops. On first and 10, the pass goes to Fleener, but he was out of bounds when he made the grab. So that's going to bring up a second and 10 from the 42. Garoppolo under pressure, takes the sack, fumbles the ball, but the Saints recover. This rookie class continues to shine on defense this season. This time is Taylor Till rushing in from the left end spot, getting to Garoppolo, knocking the ball free. If we could have recovered that, the game would have been over. But the Saints recovered, and they're now looking at a third and 17 from their own 35-yard line. So Garoppolo takes a snap in the gun, fires downfield, and is picked off by Dre Kirkpatrick, and he's going to return it for about four yards up to the 31. So all we've got to do now is protect the ball and milk some of this time off the clock. We come out pitching the ball off the left side to Eubanks, and he gets about 14 on the play, setting us up with the first down from the 19. We then go with the toss play to the opposite side. This time it's Davis, and he picks up six before being tackled near the sideline. So now we're looking at a second and four situation, looking to keep it on the ground. Anderson hands it off to Davis, and he's going to run in for a touchdown. And that's how we're going to put a bow on this one, you guys. The final score is 37 to 27. Things got pretty interesting there in the second half. I won't even lie about it. We were definitely in a position where the game could have gone either way, but we were able to make the right plays at the right time, and we were able to come out on the road and get our revenge for that Week 9 loss against the Saints. As far as the playoff seating goes, with the few games left, we're still in the driver's seat for home field advantage throughout the NFC. As for the Saints, the record now drops to 7-5, and five, and though the loss today makes things a little bit tougher they're still in the wild card hunt so we'll see how that plays out taking a quick look at the stats zach anderson had another good game completing 25 of 31 passes two touchdowns and one interception and oh he also had that one fumble on the sack so we're definitely going to try to be more focused on ball security in the next game now onto the running backs, Dre Eubanks was the man again, 15 carries for a buck 26 and a touchdown. Lonier Davis did have two rushing touchdowns, but they were more like vulture touchdowns, so we're not going to count them as much. And then in the receiving game, KB led the way, followed by Lonier Davis. Julio and Austin Hooper both had a handful of catches, so I'm pretty happy with the way that everybody's getting involved. I definitely want to see that continue. But even with that said, there's still a few things that I want to get cleaned up before we get on the next week. Anyways, you guys, that's all the time I got for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm signing off, and I'll see you in the next one.